this experiment, we'll be talking about density and we'll be investigating how changes to density can have impacts in the real world. What you'll need for this experiment is some modelling clay and some beads or marbles. The idea of density goes all the way back to ancient Greece and Archimedes and his famous Eureka moment. The experiment we'll be doing is similar to what Archimedes was looking at, but on a smaller scale, so you won't need a bath of water, just a bowl of water is fine. If you take a ch chunk of your modelling clay and roll it into a ball, and drop this into the water, it sinks. The marbles also sink. If you take another chunk of clay, we can mould this into a boat. And our boat should float. Make sure when you're moulding your boat that there are no holes in it, or else it will sink. And try and make the walls as high as possible. We're going to be trying to hold some of these marbles in our boat, so it needs to be fairly strong. Once you've completed your boat, see, if, see how it fares. And it sinks horribly. If your boat sinks, just dry it off and try again. Don't forget that failure is a result too. All science results in failures. The inventor Thomas Edison say, said that he hadn't failed, he just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. So why does our clay now float? What we've done is we've pushed water out of the way and instead of water, there's air. And air, being lighter than water, has just lowered the average density in the boat. So that the clay is now less dense than water. With each marble we add, there's less air in the boat. So the boat is becoming more dense as we add the marbles. At some point, we're going to become, once again, more dense than water, and we're gonna sink. There's eight in there so far. We've got 13 marbles in our boat. How many does your boat hold? Can you get more marbles? Try making a narrow boat that's very deep and a shallow boat that's very wide. Which holds more marbles? Which boat's more stable? These are really important questions that you can find out at home so that you can build the best boat you can build.